Hello church, my name is Atanika and I am from our Audacious Church campus in Chester. How are you today? I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Um, I wanted to talk to you about a relationship between two sisters and our relationship between each other as brothers and sisters in church. Leah and Rachel are sisters in the Old Testament and the aspect of their story that I've been looking at recently is in Genesis chapters 29 and 30. And long story short, they end up marrying the same man, not by choice. Um, and they end up competing against each other, separately crying out for God to bless them and taking some pretty bold steps to kind of win the game at wife top trumps and and elevate themselves in front of Jacob, who is the man that they married. There's not much documented about their relationship and their interaction with each other, um, but the verses that do comment on it are uh, pretty cold in that conversation. But the thing is this, church. God blesses both of them. They both have a phenomenal legacy that runs throughout Scripture, and they are both seen and heard by God and loved by God. And sometimes in church, when we see other people being blessed and things going well for them, uh, we can wonder, God, when is it my turn? When is my blessing coming? When do I get to be celebrated? And it's very easy to slip into that uh, mindset of comparison or even competition with our brothers and sisters in church, you know, who is most righteous or who is most loved by God. And that's not how church should be. And FYI. We all win at Most Loved by God. Um, Jesus, when he was talking to his disciples about how they should relate to one another, um, just before they then go out and, and establish the early church, he says, and it's recorded in John 15, verse 12, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. And that's how church should be. Church should be a place where we are 100% ourselves. As God designed it, church should be a place where we are surrounded by brothers and sisters who elevate us and build us up and support us and challenge us with love. Where we're part of a family that celebrates each other's wins and victories, that supports one another, that learns from one another. That is how church should be. I am so, so blessed to be in a church where the love that God has for me is amplified in the relationships that I have with my sisters and my brothers in that church. And I really pray that you are in a church where you feel God's love the same way through the brothers and the sisters around you in that house. Church, I want to encourage you, let's not get caught up in comparison and not let's not lose out by comparing to one another or competing with one another. Instead, let's love one another, knowing full well that God poured out his love and his blessing upon each and every one of us. Church, I encourage you today to lift one another up, to be deliberate, to celebrate and to support each other, to reach out and send a message and, and be encouraging to one another, and to see what good things that God will do in and through all of us as we live and love like him. I pray that you will all know the love of God through the relationships that you have with the people in his house. And I pray that we will all do life together, loving and celebrating each other just as God loves and celebrates us. In Jesus' name, amen. So church, have a great day. You are a blessing. Go bless and be blessed.